day 18. Redhead Goes Healthy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am on a 21 day reset challenge where I am focusing on my mind, body, and soul. If you're interested in learning about that, feel free to click the video above or just check out the daily goals listed below. I have some good news. My lower back does not hurt anymore. I don't know why. I don't understand my back, but I am excited to report that update for you all. I also wanna do a quick shout out to Felicia. Her channel is Happily Ever After Living, parentheses heal. Uh, I will link her channel down below. She suggested that I do uh, a playlist for this 21 day reset challenge. Great idea, Felicia, that's what I've done. So I put all the videos into the playlist. So if anyone is new to the channel, you can start with me on day one if you would if you would like to, I would love that. All right, well, today is a regular calorie day. I'm actually having some friends come over tonight. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I love hosting things. That was the, the biggest issue with the pandemic was not being able to host. And so I'm trying to slowly, you know, get back into doing that. So I'm looking forward to that. I will serve them good snacks. I will do my best to count anything that I consume, but I'm not gonna limit myself. I bought some potato chips. I might have some potato chips. It'll be fine. All right, let's continue with Martha Beck, Way of Integrity. We are almost at paradise, which is super exciting. I uh, feel like we've been, we've been waiting for this moment, but not today, that'll be tomorrow. We are uh, emerging at the top of purgatory. I really like the chapter that I read for today. So I'm gonna just dive right in. Martha Beck believes that if we follow the way of integrity, that we will one day experience an awakening. This is exactly what happens to Dante in the Divine Comedy, and he goes through three different transformations or three awakenings that happen in purgatory. Of course, all of that is being used as a metaphor for our lives and the ways that we wanna transform our lives. The first awakening is, she calls it reclaiming Eden. Eden, of course, a reference to the Bible, like paradise, feeling that sense of peace, when you begin to make small incremental changes, like we talked about yesterday, the one degree turn, you start to form your own personal Eden, paradise. The second form of awakening is total transparency. She has a really good quote from uh, Marianne Williamson. So I'm just gonna read it real quick. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Powerful stuff. What this means is that, this is a little difficult to unpack, I think. I, I found it a little difficult to unpack, but also very, very true to my own experience. As you reach pure integrity, as you follow the steps that she outlines in the book, you begin to become more transparent to others and to yourself, which then makes you more vulnerable. People can see you. And for some of us, that is a really frightening thing to be seen by somebody. Martha Beck tells us that we have the ability to claim our new power, that we have the ability now to actually own who we really are. And yes, it might be scary and vulnerable, but we can push past that. And then finally, the third awakening, is oblivion and beauty. So in the Divine Comedy, Dante gets his head dunked in two different rivers. One river allows him to forget everything that he's ever done wrong. And the other river allows him to remember everything he's ever done correctly or right. Now, of course, again, this is a metaphor for our lives. It's a metaphor for psychology. So what does this mean for us? Well, metaphorically, when we begin to love ourselves, we can focus on what makes us good rather than focusing on what makes us bad or the things that give us shame or a sense of guilt and even the lies that we have 
told ourselves for most of our lives. All of that begins to fade into the background and our true self, full of love, finally emerges and has the freedom to do so. So tomorrow, we will finally be entering paradise. So the body today, I did a Peloton ride. I decided to do a power zone ride and I did a 45 minute ride. Check it out. Okay, today I wanna do a 45 minute power zone ride. So they know that I love my Matt Wilpers, so I'll see what he's got available. So he does have a 30 minute power zone right there, 45 minute power zone endurance ride. This is the one I might do on Saturday. <laughs> okay, so let's just see what this is all about. Here I am in the reflection. Um, remember, you can scroll down and you can see like, what are the details here? So I'm trying to not get the glare, sorry about that. It looks like, if you go to cycling, he is staying in zone three for the whole time which means this is the ride for me today. I also wanna say one of the perks of having a Peloton is that you just don't have to like look pretty or cute because you're in your own damn house. But I wanted to say that I'm choosing a ride that's 45 minutes long today that is a zone three. And if you do Peloton and you do power zone rides, how the zones work are unique to every single individual, which I love. Like it, you're not competing with anybody else. You're only competing with yourself. And it's just, it's much easier that way. And you can actually like improve upon your own personal endurance. And now for the soul, feel free to meditate along with me with the nature outside of my apartment.
Okay. Read the 10 pages, no problem. Let's see, close the ring. My move today, that ride took a lot out of me. Got up to 800 today, really proud of that. Total calories burned is 2,600, check. Gallon of water, check. Uh, I followed this, this was a regular day. And yes, there were some snacks and I counted all the snacks that I had. I went all the way up to 2,200 for today. So we'll see how that impacts the scale. Uh, I meditated for five minutes, yes. And then film and upload an accountability video. I will see you guys tomorrow for day 19.